Well, good evening, everybody. Gord King here with a nice, comfy, late night stream of Returnal. How is everybody doing this fine evening? Now, as you all can see, I'm going ahead and I'm starting right outside the boss arena. I decided to get myself into this little spot here instead of doing all the backtracking that this game often has. Now granted, I could die and I'd be forced to backtrack again anyway. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, we're gonna do this here boss fight. This should be fun. And here we go. Oh, this should be entertaining. Try to back away a little bit. Oof. Wolverine, how you doing? Good to see ya. Hope you're having yourself a nice evening. Uh-oh. Here it comes. It's gonna do the thing. Alright. Dodge all this. Oh, miss. I think I got hit again. Ah. Ah, there it goes. Zip down through there. And one more time. There we go. Should land now. Ah. Uh-oh, it's coming back. Ah. Ah, dang. Oh, poo, it got me. Oh, that stinks. That's not good. Hopefully I can pick up some more health this time. So I think I will need it. I didn't have enough for that time. But let's let Celine here do a bit of dream thingy. See what little images pop up for her this time. Ooh, the creepy astronaut thing. You gotta love that. That's always nice. Alright, let's get off this ship. Uh, 
Let's see, I've got a couple of ether. I might have enough now. It's been here, yeah. I need to deposit. What do I get? Emergency protection. Okay, it's not too bad. I can use that. Um, now I get up there. that power up. That's a good one. We'll keep that. What's going on, Jalen? How you doing? Wow. By the way, has anyone in the audience, other than myself, watched Fallout yet? Because I have. I see the Tom Brady interview. I didn't watch it, but I obviously heard about it. I am aware of the interview. So, we'll see if anything actually comes of it. was great. I, I thought it was okay. I uh, I didn't love Fallout, but I liked it. Like I I had I had some issues with it. I, had a, I mean I had a lot of issues with it. If I'm being honest, I had quite a few issues with it. But uh, I thought the design of the show was absolutely outstanding. Uh, Oh, uh, you enjoyed the interview? Cool. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Once I heard about it, I was like, okay, that's all I need to know. Oh. I haven't watched a lot of sports lately other than the, yes, the NCAA tournament. Been busy. Had a lot of other stuff to do. <laughs> Mostly YouTube related. <laughs> but yeah, I watched, uh, I watched Fallout. It was pretty good. I had a good time with it. I think it's plotting needs a little work. Not even a little, I'd say I'd say the plotting needs a lot of work. It relies way too much on coincidence. Uh, and outright convenience. But, excellent design. Walton Goggins is awesome. Uh... The girl, Ellie Purnell, I think is her name. I thought she did a really, really good job. Uh, I think the guy, Max, is a terrible character. I don't particularly like him. So, yeah, overall... Overall, I'd probably give the show something like a... Somewhere between a six and a six and a half out of ten. I thought it was, thought it was okay. I think there's a lot they can build off of with it. It's a good show, though. I liked it. Or at least a decent show. I did enjoy it. I think if it had started off a little stronger, I'd probably go up to a 7, though. Yeah, I heard about it, Jalen. Yeah, I, I'm aware. The problem is, is if, if he if he becomes an NFL owner, he's they're not gonna let him play.
but we'll see. We'll see how that irons out. I'm not going to hold my breath for Tom Brady playing. I mean, if he does, cool, but I'm not going to, I'm obviously not against it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. We will see what happens. But yeah, I actually will be on uh, Leon Leon Idol, aka Words of Paradise's channel, tomorrow afternoon, and we'll be talking Fallout amongst yeah, possibly amongst other things. I don't know. I haven't seen like the full rundown of what his show will be about, but uh, yeah, he was asking. He specifically wanted to know if anybody didn't like the show, and I was like, well, I don't quite. I didn't quite get to the level of not liking it after I watched all of it, but I'm not quite as enthusiastic as everybody else, so if that opinion is dissenting enough, I would be certainly willing to give it. Because I know a lot of people are like really high on it, or thinking like, oh, this show is so great, it's one of the best video game adaptations ever. Now granted, it actually might be one of the best video game adaptations ever. We haven't really had a great video game adaptation. So this definitely would fit among them. If he did, he could gain better legacy by getting another ring. I mean, potentially, but I mean, you have to go to kind of like the perfect situation for that. I mean, there's not that many situations. And of course, you would need one of them to be missing their quarterback, so... It's a it's a pretty big long shot him coming back. So yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna hold my breath. All right, let's see what's down here. our integrity as well. That's good. We'll take it. Alright, let's go into our blue room here. But yeah, if anyone hasn't watched, I do recommend checking out Fallout. Because, uh, I do think for most people, Fallout probably would be very entertaining. Especially if you're at all into the Fallout games. Oh, and I'll be honest, even if you're not that into the Fallout games, I think it's likely something that most people will enjoy. I mean, because, I mean, just on the superficial level, it does a lot right. Definitely going Carbine. Oh wow, this has got a little... This is interesting, a mix of the... A mix of all those things with each other, that was different. I'm getting mauled here. Let's check it over to that repair. We've got our little enhance on. Okay, so we're nice and full up. There we go. There we go. We're good. Uh, blast shell, shield breaker. charged so I can see what it does. Uh, 
But in the meantime, let's find the switch to this door. Open it up. There it is. What's in here? Uh, spit more nasty. I don't particularly like that power up. So we will steer clear of it. Uh, no. Okay. Let's go in our blue room here. Hello. I've got some. Oh shoot, that was stupid. That was bloody stupid. Uh, dang it, that was really, really dumb. That was careless. Alright, let's go in here. little collection of oob lights and both of these that's not bad got a lot of those right now oh my gosh okay Obviously, don't want to fall down there. That would suck. Oh, okay. So there is one down there. I'm just not. I just didn't see it. Get up there somewhere. Because I see me uh, a scout log. And here we go. And we raise our proficiency. Very nice. Interesting that she refers to Helios, which is her ship, as a person. She calls Helios he, and losing it makes it will make her alone. It's an interesting little story tidbit there. Uh, I'm gonna keep my keep my gun. Kite my gun. Ah. 
I really hate these bats. They're annoying as crap. should come back in here at some point. Um, off our cooldown gets reduced by my three. My functions have more severe effects. I'll deal with that because I don't have anything for a malfunction just yet. Uh, I can't get up there. Crap! That sucks. Grant some weapon proficiency. Neat. That's good. Ow, that was retarded of me. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Some random health drops to start a stage. That's very good. That's a very nice little development. Messing with that thing. I uh, can't go in there right now. At least not to achieve anything. Some ether for it. Very cool. Uh, cow, cow, cow. Okay. What's this? Um, increases repair efficiency by 20%, greatly increases melee cooldown. Nah, I, I like my dash and my melee. I don't like those to have cooldown. At least as little of it as possible. Cooldown is bad. Uh, don't want to fall. I'm going to leave that room alone. I don't have a good enough gun for a challenge room. Alright. 
what have we here? Fabricator pod. Uh, got some repair enhancer. That's okay. That's pretty good. I can deal with that. And I got a pair of them, so that's good. And what? You know it. I kind of could use it here. If I'm just not getting my butt kicked, it'll be even better though. Really wish I had a better gun than this right now. That would be so much better. Oh, there's one over there. I don't like that guy. Not when I got this bloody weapon. There we go. And he, of course, has the better weapon on him. Just in time for you! Instantly resets alt fire cooldown. Uh, I can't get that. Lost. Is there any other health around though? Could that be good? I can go in there and just like there is. Oh. I thought that would bump up my one of my charges. Wind Fury. That sounds ominous. But I do see health in there, so what is this? Oh dear. There's lots of them and there's freaking bats! Okay. Actually went pretty well. We should take out this thing. There we go. That was quite good. Uh, all right, I can get that. Nope, not going down there. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to the next stage in just a sec. Uh, upgrade our carbine. Up our proficiency. And uh, where's the switch? Right behind there. Um, auto repairs while at low integrity reduces repair efficiency by 30%. Eh, I'll keep my repair efficiency. I'll keep the efficiency I have. Thank you. Alright. Let's head on in here. Very nice. Um, I'd rather have a health pack. Health pack's good. Uh, either fills one slot towards max integrity, 
Upgrade or inflict damage instead. Hmm. Oh, good. The risk was rewarded. But I figured if it didn't, I would just heal myself and then take that. So, there you go. It all worked out nicely. Now we can proceed in the Crimson Ways, which... If I manage to beat this, all those little lights for spots that you can zip line up to will be accessible to me. Too, so that's good. Got over 500 now. As well as bumping up my health. Also good. I will take that. Um. This gun. Ooh, I like those more. Oh dear. There's a naturally occurring object here. Somewhat like an obelisk in appearance. Love it ever after. How you doing? So, what are we I'm returning to? to <laughs> well, if you are unfamiliar with this game, here's a good welcome. Actually, I will tell you in just a moment. So, Returnal is about this lady here who is an astronaut. And every time she dies... She returns back to the beginning. This is what they call a rogue-like structure game. Uh, so every time she dies, she is aware of the fact that she died. And she returns back to the beginning. She, is, uh, she sees things from her real-world past often integrated into this world so the storytelling is a bit piecework but in a really cool way uh actually in a really really cool way i uh i actually might have this at the top of my favorite games of the ps5 this is a uh, it's a pretty neat one great gameplay and like i said i think the story is really really cool in this so, yeah. Sounds like a story I want to write, just not in space, right? Alright, no problem, Wolverine. Hey, real quick, what, what movie are you going to watch? Huh? Huh? What are you going to watch? But have a good night all the same. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh. Emonies. But yeah, <clears throat> the story uh, story uses a lot of uh, a lot of elements from like uh, kind of mythological storytelling and um, the, oh gosh, <laughs> that's not a movie. It's only a movie if you can last the whole runtime. All right. 
Let's open this little bugger up. And what have we here? So Fallout was just okay. Interesting. Yeah, I uh, yeah, like I was telling you earlier, I I think there's a lot the show does very very well. I definitely I think it's absolutely worth checking out. But uh, personally, I would only rate it as okay, not. Not necess it's it's close to good. I think if episodes one and two hadn't started so slow and wonky that I probably would be willing to call it good. But uh, it started pretty rough. And uh, like I said earlier, it, it, it does rely a lot on coincidence and convenience to tell a lot of its story. So, I would only rate it as okay. That's... that's my take. That parasite actually might not be so bad. I could come back to it before the boss fight if it's going to increase my max integrity. I don't want to get it beforehand though. Oh my goodness. What are you seeing on here about Tom Brady before we go? Oh, Jalen was asking me if I have, uh, if I had seen the uh, interview, you know, where Brady was saying that he might be willing to, you know, come back late season for a, a really good contender team in need. He was just asking me about that. But, you know, we, we've all discussed that. And by the way, Israel, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Aaron tweeted out yesterday... That he's uh, gonna be doing a show on Wednesday talking about that very thing. No, I don't think he is either. I mean, even just the parameters he laid out were uh, not exactly ones that showed a likelihood for coming back, but. You know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not holding my breath, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Uh, that ESPN only shows three pics of him. I rotation. I assume that's meant to say something else. Are you typing from a phone? <laughs> Which is fine, but... I know I have typos when I'm on my phone. Oh good, a plus seven carbine. And it shoots kind of slow. I do like the ones that shoot more rapid. Myself. But this one does have some pop to it. I will say that. So I'm okay with it. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. And there's the portal back to the boss area. So, let's see. See what else we can grab. I think it would be cool if Patrick broke his arm. Cheese! And Brady got his eighth with the Chiefs. My gosh. That's messed up. <laughs> That's pretty messed up. I don't know if I think that would be cool. I don't know if cool's the word I would describe. I would use to describe that. I don't want Patrick to break his arm. I would rather Brady beat him in the Super Bowl. Again. That'd be great. But again, I, I, I think the, the odds of him coming back are ridiculously low. I'm not, I'm not going to concern myself with it uh, until the possibility truly starts to manifest as... A potential reality. 
<laughs> like, That's pretty messed up, Jalen. Yeah. Like, you know, it would be cool if he broke his arm. <laughs> He's not a villain. I would absolutely loathe him winning for that team. I hate the Chiefs. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd be pretty conflicted about him winning for the Chiefs himself. I mean, granted, if that scenario were to play out and Brady were signed by them, am I going to be mad if he wins for them? No. But a broken arm heals. Not like I said something to us for a lifetime. It's still wishing harm on someone. I, that That's like some Tanya Harding rationale right there. <laughs> It'll heal. <laughs> Go club Nancy's leg. Tanya, jeez, that's kind of messed up. <sighs> It'll get better. <laughs> She'll be fine. She's got two legs. Alright, uh... Brr. Crap, I can't go back. I was wanting to get some health. I don't have it. I don't want my health to be this low going into that fight. Jacob! What's going on? How you doing? Uh, nope, we're, we're keeping the carbine. Alright, let's do this boss fight again. I imagine this is going to be difficult, but I mean, I already, I don't have to imagine. I already know it's going to be difficult. Something that I've done it before. I already know it's tough, especially with this little bit of health. So Jacob, did you uh, ultimately finish Fallout? Because. I did a little bit ago, about an hour and a half, two hours ago. I have completed my journey in Fallout. Just finished watching Amadeus again. Nice. Yeah, I'll be, uh... Let's see, I gotta watch Mystery Men and Amadeus before Tuesday, obviously. Now, Amadeus I've watched relatively recently, and plus I know that movie extremely well, so I don't technically have to watch it. I honestly know both of those movies pretty dang well so I could do both shows as is but I like to watch anyway beforehand so I'm gonna cause I'd just be that way oh crap I hit the wrong button Oh my gosh. That's where the music starts to kick into high gear, which I love. I'm actually kind of thinking Washington might pass on Drake May. Uh, yeah, there's actually a lot of uh, reports out there that Washington is going to go after Jaden Daniels instead, which I'm fine with. Jaden Daniels doesn't sound like he wants to be in New England, which, okay, fine, whatever, I get it, but... I actually prefer Drake May anyway, so I think he's more of an NFL build quarterback, so we'll see. My issue with Jaden Downs is he holds on to the dang ball too long. I mean, he's super talented, I can't deny that, and he's accurate. I, mean, he, I wouldn't be mad if we got him, but I think Drake May uh, has much better potential. Oh my goodness. Oof, that was not good. Also not good. Oh, 
I do like this music a lot. Try not to die! Of course, the last stage of this fight's the hard part. The really hard part. Hey, you're good, love it. It's all good. You're killing it! Oh no. That's why you need more health to get through this part. <laughs> it's tough. It's difficult. Joker 2 admittedly does look a bit intriguing. Yeah, I, I liked the trailer for it. Yeah, I binged Fallout. The first three episodes kind of sucked because it was directed by Jonathan Nolan. I give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I kind of feel similar. I thought the first two episodes I thought were especially rough. Um... Episode 3 was better, but still lots of issues. Uh, 4 is where the show picked up a lot of steam, got significantly better. And really from there, the quality was mostly pretty good. Uh, I would say Episode 6 was the closest thing to a great episode, but even that one I had some issues with. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I mostly liked it. I, I, my score is similar, about a 6 out of 10. Uh, I did like that cliffhanger at the end of the trailer. The first one didn't disappoint. Yeah, Joker, the first Joker's freaking awesome. I think the first Joker is kind of an underrated movie, to be honest. Which I've said that a few times here, but that's fine. You're, you're, you know... This is your first time with me in that conversation. So I can say it again. But yeah, I think Joker, while most people praise it, often gets unfairly called a clone of other movies, and I don't really agree with that assessment. I understand it has some aspects of a few other movies in it like you can tell it clearly makes pays some tribute or reference to like taxi driver for example but calling it a copy of those i think is taking that way too far i think that movie is very much its own thing and very well written i've grown to appreciate it quite a bit the more I've watched it. Yeah, that's that's very often what people say, and I I disagree. I saw Joker during Christmas on a YouTube channel that said it was pan it was playing 2020 best Christmas hits. Wow. I have never seen Taxi Driver. Well, Taxi Driver's a classic, Jalen. It is a classic. It's a good one. It's a Marty School Sazy movie. It's a really good one. And game also wow. In game, I was actually listening to uh, while I was at work today. You know, I needed to kill time, and my shifts are eleven hours. So I was actually listening to an EFAP breakdown of In Game. Which, granted, I've I've listened to breakdowns of In Game more than a few times already. Uh, but it was a fun way to kill some time, and uh, yeah, I'm. I tend to agree with those fellows about Endgame that it's uh, it's a movie that emotionally has great payoffs, but objectively not a great film. That movie has 
we sleep to E fap and <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not hard to do. It's not hard to do. Lengthy videos and podcasts and yeah, they got the soothing British voice, but I like to listen to them also. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'd be lying if I didn't say that my style of review isn't at least somewhat inspired by his. But uh, I very much, I very much like his content, and EFAP is usually a lot of fun to listen to. Oh well, thank you, love it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, I uh, I like listening to the EFAP dudes and. Yeah, I was listening to them talk in game. EFAP is hilarious. Those guys have excellent chemistry. Yeah, I agree. And uh, I'm often excited for some of their guests. They have some guests that are really fun, really funny. I mean, the, the primary trio they've got there uh, uh, Fringy and Rags, along with uh, Mauler, they're great. They do really good stuff. Uh, Wolf was really, Wolf was really funny when he was on, and I, I, I'm actually glad Wolf is Wolf is running the EFAP highlights channel, which that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So I know a lot of people were sad when he left. Granted, he was he was gone off of YouTube way before I ever start, started listening to EFAP. I I only came to EFAP about a year and a half ago, maybe two years. But, uh, so he was long gone by then, but, uh, it is pretty cool that he's, uh, he's doing EFAP highlights. That's pretty neat. When they did the garlic telephone game, I, oh gosh, that thing is freaking hilarious. That is so funny. Are there, those, those Jackbox games that, that they play, which granted, I've been on Stupenzo channel. We play Jackbox games, Jackbox games too. We play different ones though, but... Oh my gosh, like, last week I was watching the one where, like, they start drawing Sonic the Hedgehog, and Mahler, like, I guess he halfway through forgets what he's drawing, and he accidentally fills the whole screen in with this, like, aqua blue color instead of the correct Sonic blue, and it's, the drawing is freaking hilarious. Like, I literally was just, like, in my, in my seat at work, just dying. I was like, oh my gosh, this is freaking hilarious. That absolutely cracked me up. Yeah, EFAP looks like so much fun, to be honest. I kind of envy those guys that they have a crew of dudes who will get together just to talk movies and media for that long, because I actually think that would be really, really fun to do, but it's not exactly easy to find people who will sit down and talk that stuff for that long and who have the time to. You almost have to be doing YouTube for a living before you can even, I guess, entertain that that notion, but all the same, it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, in Fallout, Maximus is a boring character. Yeah, I, uh, I, I think, I think, I, I would go so far as to go beyond boring and just say flat out he's a terrible character. I find him in many, I, I find him incredibly off-putting. Uh, I, I would even say at the beginning of the show, he's kind of morally reprehensible. I mean, he basically, he lets, he lets his superior die because he was insulting him. That's really what it comes, gets down to, is he, he let his superior die because he was insulting him. That's really about it. Now granted, his superior insulting him was really stupid. I was like, what are you doing? Why are you, this guy, he's the guy you're asking to help you, and you're cussing at him and calling him names. I was like, that's that's really stupid. Uh, 
and then you're kind of realizing, oh, this guy's, he might let me die. It's like, okay, well then you might want to quit calling him names and tell him you're sorry, because you're going to die. But also, like, the fact that he just stood there while that bear attacked and didn't shoot, and then it turns out, like, one shot was enough to kill that bear. I was like, are you kidding me? You could have, you could have saved him easily. It's like, that whole sequence, I was like, ugh, this is rough. Because <laughs> it, it did a lot of damage to him as a character, but, it, I mean, he's otherwise, he's cowardly, he's, uh... It's just, it's not likable. I don't find him at all likable. And them doing the romance between him and the girl who's actually a really good character. The girl's kind of great. I like her a lot. Like, I kind of thought for a little while that I was going to remain iffy on her. Particularly when she's, you know, on screen with Walton Goggins so much. Who's easily the best character. But, uh... She, she's developed pretty dang well. I quite liked her as a character. Doesn't hurt that she's cute, too, but, I mean, beyond that, I was like, yeah, I, I liked her. I quite liked the girl. Thought she was a good character. Well-developed, funny, uh, was a moral character, wasn't a Mary Sue, nothing like that. Uh, I wonder why they made the ghoul look like Red Skull. Because that's kind of what the ghouls look like, to be honest. It's sort of what they look like. Uh, I never really got to play many games. I enjoyed all the civilization, civilization games. Sims, Dawn of Man, just random stuff. Uh, that's fine. I love the OG Animal Crossing. I would love to get a copy of it to play again. And the armor suit, you could have ripped the bear apart. Ripped the bar apart or the bear apart? Yeah, yeah, like, the guy not being able to fight... I mean, it's like, you're telling me the bear dot can die from one headshot, but you can't, like, beat him down in your suit of armor? I find that difficult to believe. But yeah, that... Some of those early sequences are, uh... pretty rough, and... It's kind of hard to deny that they're pretty integral to the overall plot, so... They're not small things. Now, there is a lot the show does really, really well, and I think that, you know, if it's... I would I would take it away from Jonathan Nolan. I don't think he's the right person for it. I just I don't think Jonathan Nolan's all that talented. I think Jonathan Nolan is good when... I think he's not... He's got some ideas that are pretty good, but... If he's not working alongside of his brother, I think he's kind of useless. Or at least has someone to rein him in. I feel like they they seem to be under the impression that he's his brother, and I'm like, eh, he's not his brother. I've always got to be hating on Red Skull. I don't think he's... I, oh, Israel's not hating on Red Skull. I think he's just... He's like, are they just copying off of it? I wouldn't say that. I, I think the makeup they used for... Uh, for Walton Goggins just... I think it looked pretty dang good. I think it fit him well. Oh, uh, okay. The red skewer. Uh, okay. Go this way. And go in here. Only other video game player I had was the first generation Nintendo. Wow. We gotta get y'all some consoles, y'all know. Alright, what do we got here? We got this vow. That'll be good if I get hurt. I'd like to hang on to that, to be honest. Uh, but this could increase my max integrity if it's good. It worked! Yay! That's good. We need that. Crimson Wastes. You know, I'm something of a waste myself. 
Wait a minute. Pretty much, I've been pretty much obsessed lately with this game called Valheim. Uh, hang on, I'll read the rest of your comment as soon as this thing is bloody dead. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nailed it. You need to find something to buy with all of these. Uh, truly a surprise, but a welcome one. Gotcha. Yep, I am unfamiliar with this game. It must be one of those personal computer only games. Is that... That's weird. The little hologram didn't come off of it. Oh well. Still useful, as it was. Uh, I can't go down there. I don't have the ability to do the little walkie thing. It's a Norse mythology open world survival game. Yep, it's for PC Master Race only. Well, we know how Israel is with the whole Master Race thing. Don't we? I think that's the whole reason why you have a PC Israel. This little tower structure should be fun. Oh dear. Let's try to avoid being hit. Okay, got that. Oh my goodness! Alright, those are dead. Uh oh. Alright, those are gone. Got it. I need to take that thing out. Got it. Good, good, good. And, uh oh, there's one in there. But where? Uh, I think it's behind there somewhere. So let's go behind. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was good. Oh, hello. There you are. There you are. Uh, right. And a couple more of you fools. So far, it's been a good run. Could use a little bit more health. Really like to find somewhere to spend all these bloody obelites. Let's see. 20% uh, chance not to use, not to lose a consumable upon use. Reduces proficiency rate by 15%. Uh, no. I think we're good as we are. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, is there anything of note up here? And by the way, I will be on... I was telling some people this earlier, but I don't think Jacob, Leon, or Israel heard. I will be on Words of Paradise tomorrow, and we will be talking Fallout. So that should be fun. Glad you could stop by as well. Love it. Good to have you. And you have yourself a lovely evening. into this one. Oh, that's a big old whoosh. Alright, get that. Yeah, I've got myself a kind of a busy week. Got myself a busy one. Got one show tomorrow, two shows Tuesday. Plus I've got I'm definitely not going to be able to do a gaming stream on Tuesday. Tomorrow, I could do one probably later in the evening rather than the day. It's part of the reason I'm doing one now is because I know I'm not going to be able to Tuesday. So like, well, let's go ahead. All right, let's check the map. Uh... This way. Yeah, this will be one of the busier weeks I've had in a little while. But that's not a bad thing. What do you think uh, Robert Rodriguez as a director outside of Sin City? Well, his... Well, my favorite movie of his is Once Upon a Time in Mexico. So, and uh, I overall... Oh, wait a minute. Also, I thought that it didn't do the muffin joke. It was a hilarious take for the, thanks for the invite you. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh to answer your question is real. Um I obviously quite like his Desperado films. I literally was recommending those to you a little bit ago. I like the Desperado Trilogy. I think all three of those are good movies. Some people disagree with me about Once Upon a Time in Mexico. That's fine. I've already said objectively I don't necessarily think that's a great movie, but I still think it's a lot of fun. Uh, he also did Spy Kids, which I don't really... I'll be perfectly honest. I don't even know if I've actually watched Spy Kids all the way through. I know there's a lot of people who like it. Um... And they obviously did a bunch of sequels because they made money, so... I can't speak to their quality, but... I'd be willing to watch... You know, at least one or two of them and see how good they are. Uh, what else has he did? He did Alita Battle Angel, which I liked Alita. I thought Alita was a lot of fun. I thought that was a cool movie. Um... I thought that, uh... From Dust Till Dawn was a lot of fun. Uh, what else did he do? Oh yeah, he did Planet Terror, which I think Planet Terror is a freaking blast. Planet Terror is a really fun movie. So yeah, overall... I wouldn't call him a great director. I'd call him a, a good one. Who has a very distinct and entertaining style. His movies are, are really good fun. I like them. Oh shoot, it's the big one. And I got hit. Dang it. I didn't want to get hit. I was doing so well not getting hit. Get behind the pillar. Dang it. Oof, that's not good. That's 
so we got that thing. Uh, Hollow Seeker Blast Shell. Horiz I'm going to keep the Horizontal Barrage because that's actually a pretty nifty little ability there. Alright, got my health back to full. Dookie. I could really use a place to spend these. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't checked out Robert Rodriguez's filmography, uh, he's definitely someone worth checking out. The interesting thing, one of the interesting things about uh, Rodriguez is, you know, him and Tarantino are like really, really good friends, right? And yet they have wildly different views on things at times. Uh, for example, you know, Tarantino is not at all a fan of uh, digital filming as opposed to using, you know, film. Okay, taking this. Whereas, uh, Robert Rodriguez is a rather huge proponent of digital filmmaking. Now, I think, if I had to guess, part of the reason why someone like Tarantino could... I mean, it's... I mean, forgive is not even... I mean, I don't, when I say forgive that, I don't mean that in the, the literal sense. Like, he has... Like, Rodriguez has committed some sin that needs forgiving by liking digital... But I think he's probably understanding of Rodriguez's position because he kind of has that shotgun style of filmmaking where uh, he he tends to uh, shoot his films really, really fast. Like, uh, a lot of his films have very brief shooting schedules. Uh, yeah, and we all know how Tarantino feels about that. If used right, it's pretty amazing. David Fincher does it right. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not against digital filmmaking at all. I mean, granted, I'm not a filmmaker, so I mean, my perspective on it is is obviously extremely different from someone like Tarantino's. Uh, I do understand where someone like Tarantino might be coming from when he, you know, describe. I've I've, I've heard him describe his position. I'm aware of it why he feels the way he feels and it is understandable but uh you know I also see the position that Rodriguez comes from and not only the perspective but you know the results are pretty daggone good I mean if you I mean if you watch Once Upon a Time in Mexico today the picture quality on that film is sensational. It has sensational picture quality. Wow. That sucked. That was like an OP remnant. That sucks. Dang it. And I know a lot of people don't like that kind of soap opera effect on films where it looks where you can see the detail extremely well and uh you know people don't always like you know high frame rates and stuff like that i personally am not against it i actually quite like it sometimes i think it's an interesting way to watch movies so i am okay with it you know, and it's not, it's not necessarily preferring one over the other, but, uh, I don't, I don't knock it either. I think there are some movies when they're using, they're utilizing that kind of technology. They look pretty cool, and I like them. Tarantino praised Mel Gibson's Apocalypto, but then changed his tune a bit after realizing it was shot on digital saying something along the lines of it lessens the greatness of it. Yeah, I think that's kind of silly. 
I think that's a little silly. I think that's a little... It, that kind of reminds me of the whole Squidward being married to Technique. And maybe getting showed up a bit. You know, which is not to say that Mel Gibson's films show up Tarantino's. It's just, hey, he made a film you like. Who cares how he shot it? Is it good? Sounds like you liked it. Like, I know Christopher Nolan is obviously... I, I know he's a... Uh, he's also a big proponent of using uh, film over digital. Um, I don't know if he thinks... I don't know if he sees digital in a demeaning sense the same way. I don't know if he would say it lessens the uh, quality. I just... I know he doesn't like to... Uh, he doesn't like to use it. He's... I mean, he... Nolan's a very traditional filmmaker in a lot of ways. That's... I think that's pretty obvious from his... You know, how little he likes to use CGI, how he likes to achieve just about everything practical, if he can. I mean, even, like, I'm even impressed by some of the stuff he did for Oppenheimer that had nothing to do with the bomb. Like, uh, some of those, like, images you see, like, in Oppenheimer's dreams, you would think were just completely created on a computer because that would be the simple way of doing it you know why wouldn't you it's just a few little flashing lights that look a little funny why wouldn't you just go ahead and decide to do it in a computer no problem but that's not how they did it they actually achieved it practically because that's was like no no one was like no i want to do this practically i think it'll look better and it's like that's kind of neat now i would I would probably say that I am I am on the train that says practical is obviously way better than CGX. It obviously holds up better, but... Uh, Nolan and Dil Denis Villeneuve are the only two IMAX purists. Uh, yeah, probably. At least as far as like the kind of movies they put out, they obviously want to be fit for IMAX.
traveling up the natural way. Is there a way up? There might be. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There might be a way. Oh no. Locations here. And a place to spend. Neat. Definitely want to up our Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, let's use this. Let's see what we get here. Pod squash. Uh, fixes or prevents one malfunction, detaches afterwards, increases the chance of finding a malignant item. Actually, this one is pretty worthwhile. Keep that. Uh, malignant resin. Eh. Uh, more malignant resin. More malignant resin. Uh, fabrication costs reduced by 15%. Suffer damage from picking up items? No. Because suffer damage from picking up an item? That's a crappy one to have. Yeah, I don't think we got anything there. Oh. Kick me back. Get enough Uber lights. I might go back in there and grab a health thingy. I'll lay it around. Oh, look, he's the house. Is there anything new to be gained in here? Nope, it is inaccessible at the moment. Oh my gosh! This how you get all the lights. You kill! Increase the max integrity or reduces repair efficiency. I want to keep my efficiency. And speaking of which, maybe. Ninety-one. So I've got enough. So we are almost good to head over to the Crimson Roosts. The rookie. This is, uh, attaching or detaching parasites repairs integrity. That's actually not bad. Can I get enough? 
doesn't look like it's there. Oh well, no be. I'd rather have a health thing anyway, so it's fine. So we have a good amount of integrity, we got a health thing there. How close am I to... I just need to go over through there. Cool. Hello guys. Who's on the way? Thingy, my bubbers. All right, so if we can get ourselves a decent weapon. Get there in one piece. We've got a pretty good shot in this next here battle. Need a different weapon. Not gonna last long with this thingy. Ouch, crap. Good and dead there. Are running low on health, so. That's not good. Let's not die here. There we go. Better weapon will help. Granted, it's a sidearm, but yeah. fine. Is manifesting itself here. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, that worked out pretty good. Better one, yes. Good, good, good. That's what I want. All oh, that stuff, please. Nice. can deal with the big health pack. That, that should be fine. Uh, oh. Not worth it. There's uh, proficiency. Tickets. And it is not gonna open. That's to have a special bleed attachment to that orc. What's this? Uh, fifty percent chance to find better salvage from ourselves. Reduce repair efficiency by thirty percent. No. Seeker. Alright, I'm gonna open that. What's this parasite do? Doubles of a light collection radius. Upcoming malfunctions have harder fix requirements. Well, I don't plan on getting any, so I'll take it. It's easier to grab currency. I do have a key, so I can have a couple of keys actually, so I can get in here. Okay. 
It's a nice, fruitful trip. Head over here. This likely will be our last crack at the boss for tonight. Obviously, I started a bit of a late stream. Not gonna go the typical three hours. We've almost been on two. Yeah. Take another crack at him. Plus, we got a good shot at beating the boss this time. Not to die. I want to get surrounded by things. I can suck. One more. That was close. But we got him. Alrighty. Let's search this little area. Looks like there's one more enemy, enemy hovering about. Ooh, Sable's turrets. That's actually quite helpful. Let's switch over to that. Because there are some turrets nearby. It would help if they were disabled. I'm the same. Uh, nah, we're good. I'm not gonna go on there. Uh, don't need that. That could damage me. It does look like there's a weapon up there, but can we get up there? I guess we could do a little bit of platforming. Get up there. See if it's worth it. Why not? It's not a weapon. What's this thing? It's a parasite. Auto repairs while at low integrity. Dropped obelets disappear one second faster. Actually, that's okay. That's my increased radius. That's fine. Plus, I've already got almost 400 of them. Oh my goodness. That helps. Disabled turrets. Permanent weapon trait, shrapnel plus one. Nice. This little upgrade to my weapon. Uh, definitely not switching out for that. Definitely not. Now, what have we here? Uh, alt fire augment shortens alt fire cooldown by two seconds. Nice.
right. What to do? Oh shoot! Oh, he came down way too close to me. Right. <laughs> he didn't cheer. So good on health though. And again, I got my little health pack thingy too. I'm still in pretty good shape. Not getting a lot of good hits on him though right now. Come on. This phase is taking longer than I would like. They're about to be fun. <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> Ow. Getting hit way too much.
Oh, if I'm gonna make this, it's a tough one. That was a fast little teleport there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I won that. Whew. I did not think I was going to make that one. My goodness. My heart be resting. Oh yeah, man, I got this. Let me see goes. Okay. And now technology. Scan your xenotype technology on another corpse. Scan is again indicating potential for suit augmentation. I got some harpoonage. That sounds kind of dirty. Har har. Safe to repurpose. Integration complete. <laughs> we'll perform a function test. All right. So I'll make navigation more fun. <sighs> test complete. Apparent function is to cross vast distances. Suit status remains uncompromised. Ish. All right. Let's. Detach the patasites that we have on us. Actually, it didn't detach them. Oh, no. Uh, no, they're still there. I've still got them on me. Oh, that's fine. I don't have any data cube. To the next area. <laughs> the teleportation gateway in the desert has taken me into the citadel, beyond the forest's massive wall. The dead things. White Shadow is nearly within reach. Scans show that the broadcast originates from the tower inside a citadel like complex. This one. That's this. Head over here. Use that. Because why not? Plus, that bumps up our proficiency to nine. Nine! And we get a weapon. And what have we here? Uh, fabrication cost reduced, suffer damage from long falls. We already do that. Yeah, actually, that is the way we're going, so. Backtrack a tad here. Make 
actually going to be wrapping up here pretty soon, but I want to do a wee bit of navigating because we're going to suspend our cycle here. Like nothing I know. Some statues to blow away. Shoot all the rock statue down. Things up. Oops, nope, no. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Not an idiot. Hostile machines. Fully automated. These hostile machines. These guys can be a wee bit of a pain if you're not careful. I remember that much. There's a little scout's log there. Actually, what is this one right here? Uh, tier two. Repeated piece. Repeated piece. Repeated keys on piano to destroy so much we were trying to communicate, but in the end, everything we went to 9 4 and Gehenna, our creator destroyer. This is it. The journey is almost over. The origin of White Shadow is right here. Soon I'll know why, and and bury these horrible memories in the past. So much desolation. Is this their city? It's only inhabited by corpses, broken machines. I'm heading towards the broadcast tower now. That's right. The white shadow broadcast she's been searching for. It's here. And here's a portal. What have we here? Now we'll take that. Now I'll take that. And let's see. Survive a killing blow detaches afterwards, greatly reducing max. The upon detach. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a killing blow, so. Yeah. And that actually netted me a trophy because I have five parasites currently detached to me, so. It's one of the little trophies you can get. Put on five parasites. Look at you. Like, walking around with these little beans on you. That neat. But, uh, yeah, I'd say this is gonna be our stopping point for the evening. Thank you to everybody who joined me live tonight. And if you come to this stream later on while it's not live, I do hope you will smash the like button, consider subscribing to this channel. You can also check out my other works on my main channel, The Gourd King, as well as some memes on Gordish memes. I will probably have another stream tomorrow, though my typical afternoon time uh, will not be available because I'm going to be on Words of Paradise. So it'll probably be in the evening, maybe, uh, maybe 6 o'clock or so, I'm thinking. Somewhere in that ballpark, I'm guessing. But until then, ladies and gentlemen... I bid you all good night, God bless, and Godspeed. speed.